Here's the thing, I was always told, when you have a baby, you won't have time for yourself, your life won't be the same, forget about traveling, blah blah blah. Well damn, I proved you all wrong. I don't understand why people give up on their lives after having kids. I'm here to change your mind. Where's the phone? Hi. Hello friend, welcome back or welcome for your first time. Nice to meet you, my name is Anna and I have no idea how to mom. Not that anyone does, but okay. In this video, I'm showing you our little road trip from Hungary. Oh the way to our lovely island in Greece. Our baby boy is currently two months old, which is my opinion such a good age for traveling, as you already went through the hard newborn phase. And also the baby is more curious, they like looking around, you can communicate a little bit with them. But most importantly, I started feeling like myself again, I think roughly two months after I gave birth. At the beginning it was really hard, but now, you know, let's do this. Let's go back to normal things. Diapers with whites burp square thingy pseudo cream for the booty i don't want to wake him up but i have to because if he wakes up in the middle of the road trip it sucks because you can't even stop it's been three hours since he last ate so it's time to wake him up we are currently four hours away from our airbnb in serbia We're gonna stay overnight there and then continue our road trip all the way to Thessaloniki, go to athens and then from athens go to Hios, and that's it I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm sorry. I know you were happily sleeping and I ruined it. You didn't even pee. I don't even need to change your diaper. It's such a horrible mother. And I was just like torturing you. I'm sorry. So he was very clever to go outside in the rain. Start stretching. And look at him now. Wonderful weather. Do you agree, Noah? About traveling by car and people don't mention that much is the fact that babies fall asleep so easily in the car does your baby too seriously the moment you put them in the car they hear them boom 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 and also the movement is a perfect imitation of the womb and because of that our first few hours of traveling were very very easy you when traveling with a baby on a road trip is to have a lot of stops take your time and when crying starts just focus on what's the solution we did have a few hours of continuous crying with noah i just had to entertain him it didn't last long though because most of the time he's just sleeping which is amazing but babies are very adaptable you might be surprised you take them out there and they can get used to anything literally anything can i just say something crazy <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Are you performing to him? Yes. As our travel is very long, I think around 1,600 kilometers to Greece, we decided to book an Airbnb and stay overnight in Serbia. Woo! By the way, Serbia is so beautiful as a country. I didn't really expect that, but y'all, I was impressed. One thing I came up with, and it couldn't be more useful for traveling with a baby, it's a mattress. Why would you carry a traveling bed and keep opening and closing it and opening and closing it? You don't want that. Also, what I love about the mattress is that you can put it on the floor and the baby can't fall because, duh, he's on the floor. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how long this can last because I know the moment they hit three months, they start moving around a lot and you will end up seeing your baby on the floor anyway. So I think it's convenient up to two months if you want to travel with a baby after that probably no you need a proper bed One more thing I wanted to say is that stop listening to people telling you you can't do this, you can't do that when you become a mom, forget about your old self, forget about everything. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? What is forget about your old self? You are yourself, but also you're a mom. And I generally think that you can do anything. Now, obviously you have limitations because of the baby, but babies can learn. If you are way to, oh, the baby needs to sleep at seven. Oh, the baby needs to do that. They said to do this. They said to do that. Then you make a person 
person that is dependent on schedules but if you're more relaxed yourself and you say okay no you're coming with us wherever we go you learn how to deal with it then the baby is like okay this is the normality this is how I'm supposed to live one of the main things we have in our family that helps us travel that helps us do what we love we just take the baby with us from the day one I understand not all babies are the same some babies might be easier some might be more difficult but it's 50% in your hand for sure but also you're responsible to teach them how life is show you how a road trip with a baby looks like and please get yourself out there don't lock yourself in the house go for a walk go exercise go for a trip it's good for you mama or papa or grandparent or sister and sibling i don't know <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please please hit the like button and also subscribe because why not okay i love you so much and i'm gonna see you next time bye